I'm going to start stripping down this head. I'm going to go ahead and keep the two head valve, uh, two valve head for now. Um, just send it in and get it done. I don't want to waste any more time. I did find somebody who's going to, who found me a great deal on a four valve head. It's in Michigan and, uh, is one of you guys. Uh, and I'm going to be up in Michigan next month anyways. So I'll just pick it up then and, you know, doing a head swap. It's still going to need to be machined and stuff. Um, it's been sitting for 20 some years. Uh, on a shelf uh, so it'll it'll be a good head I'm sure um, but I'll just wait to do that and add it later but I got to strip this down and get it taken to the machine shop today this this uh, intake manifold on here or cooling manifold um, the problem with it is the uh, it's aluminum and steel studs so they're always very hard to get off and they break somewhere around here I do have a spare one um, but I certainly don't want to have to use it, so I'm going to get all the, the bolts are coming loose and call this a gook and grime that builds up on these things. It's the typical Detroit look. Um, so I'll get all the bolts off and then start to see if I can get them off. One thing you have to be real careful about when using Permatex on gaskets, look how, look how much this opening was closed up by this Permatex. That's just one. If I show you a few others on here. You can see how much it had been blocked. So, I mean, that's a good 25-30% restricted by Permatex. Now that whole end piece on both ends. You gotta be real careful of that stuff. I'm getting the head stripped down. I'll take it into the machine shop here. I got the manifold off, no problem. Going to Young and Sons to drop off our head. They work on lots of two strokes here. So there's the mark I got it, or the, the crack. I got it marked pretty good for him, so he'll be able to find it easy. But it's a pretty good crack. And uh, I'm sure he'll drill, stop drill it, and then weld it up whatever he needs to do but, uh, getting ready to drop that off at the at the welder so I am having some success finally with this bolt that's way back there uh, I had to make a tool also it's it's really windy out here today so hopefully the new wind attachment that I have on the new microphone is working um, but to make a tool I had to take an old crow's foot and bevel it down like that to match because it goes up against that bell housing so that it's got the bell shape to it and then the other side of the extension I needed to bring it back so that it could get into place but this is working I have turned it at least one full revolution already Whoa. that was bad Go. So I can get it on like that, and then oh, I apologize for the horrible camera work, but I only got two hands. Oh. That was good for the phone, but you saw it turn. Hopefully, and I just got to do that about 95 more times. <laughs> well. I got it back out as far as I can go. It's now touching that motor mount. It's more than an inch back. And the other bolts that were in there, um, there's less than an inch of thread that was in there. So hopefully the threads are all the way out enough where the transmission will be able to pull back away. Otherwise, I'll just have to pull it back a little bit and then get a few more turns on that. But it's as far as it'll go now because it's wedged up against that. And that would be nice if it stays like that because I should be able to get it back in if it stays in that area. Otherwise, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that that bolt is not going back in that hole when I'm done. Well, this made me mad. This is the very first time I went to use this wrench. I just bought it when I was working on the McDonald's bus from the Mac guy. Uh, 6.916s. And I was one-handed, maybe like 20 pounds of force, and it just snapped right off. Very first time I went to use it, 
man, that makes me so angry. You pay a lot of money for something. I've had Harbor Freight wrenches take a hell of a lot more abuse than that. Try to tap between the two surfaces. Here? Yeah. I got a little bit of primer right there. A little one. Okay. Give a whack on the end of that bolt. moving. Not very well. <laughs> 